Okay, yo, what's going on, guys? It's me, Jarvis. I'm back with another video. And I get this asked in my streams a lot. How do I edit so quickly and how do I do it so consistently? That's, like, the main thing. Because, like, some people, they can be good at editing, but, like, they may not always edit perfectly, like, every time. And I'm gonna I'm a try and show you guys how to always edit consistently without uh, messing up your edits at all. So when I when I used to just like build and uh, all that, when I used to like, so usually when I wake up, I go into just a creative, just like warm up, whatever. But when I used to, like back in the day, um, I used to really not be able to edit at all. Like I could edit, but like I couldn't do it consistently because I think. You can be quick at editing, that's good, but, like, the best thing is just consistency because if you mess up an edit, then you're gonna lose high ground or something like that. So, I'm gonna try and show you guys, like, ways of how to get better at uh, editing. So, I mean, the main the main kind of obvious way is you go, you download, like, Mongrel's editing course or, like, some of the other longer, harder editing courses. And all you do is just do it, do it do it do it and then keep doing it because the only way you're going to get more consistent at editing is by doing the same edit over and over again and then getting used to it and obviously if you do this in an edit like an edit course the building's already built so it's not like as realistic but it still helps you get used to editing it it still helps you like get used to those certain types of edits like editing through a floor and a pyramid like i'll show you it, it helps with like easier edits where you just it's just like that You know what I'm saying? And like other ones, like on the Mongrel one, they've just got like that. I mean, to be fair, it would probably be even better just to go into a creative and just do the same edits, but just instead of them being already built for you, you do it. So it's like you're building it and editing it, which is going to make you just, just quicker. You know what I'm saying? So say like someone's on the other side, this wall or like, you're doing that. You want to go like that, and then that, and then that, and then that. So if you're in a creative, you want to try and, like... You want to try and build, like, how you would in an in-game, like, situation. And then try and do the edits. And keep trying them until you've, like, perfected them, pretty much. Also, a really key thing is, um... You guys need to make sure. I mean, I'm get, I'm like, I'm hoping anyway. The majority of you guys know that you can, you don't have to hold down to edit. All you have to do to not hold down to edit and just tap to edit like I do is you just have to make sure your switch mode isn't the same as your edit. So if your switch mode is the same as your edit, you need to make sure that's different. Because look, if I change this to switch mode and edit, and then I go back. And it's B to edit. You see, I have to hold it. It's only for like a split second, but that's gonna really make a big difference, to be honest. Yeah, it's like you can already, I can already feel it's a lot slower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So these are my binds. If you guys don't already know, I've just got my, le I've got my left analog stick to edit, and I have, I confirm with B. I get a lot of people asking why I don't confirm with the same like left stick. The reason why that is is because I play claw. Because you like majority of people play just like this i think and when you're playing when you're say playing like this and you're trying to press these buttons it's a lot harder whilst like still doing everything else but if you play claw it means you can still do everything but then press all of these four buttons a lot easier which means these four buttons are like very key i feel like i have tried to confirm with less stick but i just felt like uh i couldn't edit and i just felt i was editing a lot quicker with the like confirming would be so yeah you can go into an edit course practice editing that's a really good way to get better at editing i think that's how i got a lot better at editing like when the edit courses came out i would just sit in them for like ages and just keep editing like keep restarting doing them again over and over and over again but then obviously you don't want to just sit in edit courses all day and just do that you want to also go into like a creative and just just start building how like say you're in a build fight against a friend you just do that against yourself and do all the same stuff you would do say like that oh But yeah, you just want to have a build fight against yourself and say like the most important parts when like building against yourself is definitely the pyramids. So after you do your 90s or like two or three 90s, however many you do, you want to start learning to do the pyramid and then editing that. 
And then once you get really good at that, you want to learn to do the the double, the floor and the pyramid. Because when you're against good players, if you pyramid uh, yourself, they'll place a floor so you can't get through the pyramid. So it's always good to like place both and then make sure you can get through. When you get more like comfortable doing that, you do your 90s and then you do that. You do double. So like you could come from either side. They don't know. So it's uh yeah, you could come you could do that or you could do stuff like that. You can you can do a lot of stuff with pyramids. But yeah, the main like the main way to get better at editing is just by practicing your edits like you have to just sit in a playground for uh, half an hour, 40 minutes or something and just edit. <laughs> That's all you do. is just edit. Sit in a like sit in a box like this, just start doing different edits. Try and get used to doing all the edits. Like you want to learn to do these ones as well. On controller, I feel like these are the, like the harder ones where you go from the top. I don't know. It may just be because I don't do them as much, which is probably as that's probably true to be fair. But like you can see, the more I'm doing it, the better I'm like getting. I'm more comfortable. I feel doing it. But the main key edits I sh uh, I recommend you get down is obviously the four here or four there or the three the three or uh because the door glitch is still in the the game uh instead of like editing a window to shoot your enemy you edit a door and then do the door glitch yeah and obviously just the window like editing and re-editing the window try get if you can get quicker that when uh an enemy is on the other side of the wall say you edit the window edit it back they shoot and then you can shoot whilst they've got like a delay on their shotgun. Oh yeah, one other thing is obviously going it like 1v1ing yourself essentially is good. But you want to do it against like a friend. So get a friend in a creative and just start 1v1ing. And what you like learned or like we're trying to do whilst 1v1ing yourself. You want to try to do that in this 1v1. Because like when you're against an actual person, it can it's like it's more pressure or whatever. It's like, um, you, so you might, if it's more pressure, you might like fail your edit or cuck it up. And then the more 1v1s you do, the more like comfortable and less nervous you'll get whilst editing. It's really just like practice. Like the only reason why I'm so good at editing is just because I've practiced a lot. And then the last thing all you need is just to go into an actual game and try do the editing that you've been learning in creative and put it into an actual game later guys if you didn't already know if you're not using my supporter credit code just just use it because epic also are doing this thing where people that use like creators codes you can use anyone's code but if you want to use mine i'll appreciate it you get um you get this share the love like camo skin and it's fire if you want to check it out it's also on my twitter that's going to be in the description below uh but yeah let's get into the game all the stuff that you try and learn in creative you want to try do it in an actual game because like obviously you're not going to be able to get in them same situations i mean you might but like like the situations you get in an actual game it are always different so learning to do the edits in an actual in-game situation is key <sighs> first game on but you already know we're going to tilt it boys if you guys don't know already i've actually got um epic gave me access to host like private matches you know you see all them streamers do like custom games yeah epic actually gave them to me and in my streams, I'm going to be doing, like, custom games. I did some yesterday. And, um... I, there was, like, loads of us in a lobby. And we I legit said everyone land tilted. And the whole lobby was legit at tilted. It was so fun. And, like, you guys can try and kill me in these lobbies. So, if you want to try and play, just come check out my stream. It's just uh, twitch.tv forward slash Lil Jarvis. And I'm going to be streaming them every day, guys. Oh, this ain't good, boys. He's got a turret, bro. Damn, I just missed the easiest shot, but... But like that, where you just, like, in actual in-game situation, you want to try get consistent at doing them edits. Bro, was that like 60 damage in the head? What was that, bro? Let's 
just gonna die to that trap. Or nah. Still one more. Bro, how many times do I have to shoot this guy? Oh my god. It's so much help. <laughs> so broken, bro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> bro, I love doing that to noobs. Like, they have no idea what's going on. Oh my god, this guy's a psychopath! So many psychopaths, bro! Please! Leave me alone! Someone get a replay on that scream. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that guy scared me so much. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I need nine kills for a 20 bomb. Like, it is possible, but... Don't... It's not feeling like it's gonna happen, you know what I'm saying? Bro, you go so much higher on launch pads. If you guys didn't know, like, you go so much higher on launch pads. Oh. This guy's got a heavy sniper. I gotta be careful. Come on, bro. We need pretty much all these kills. I'll see another one. And that's a rip. That's a rip. We can't get any more. Someone just ruined it.
Bro, I love it when people just use RPGs. Head of the roof. You're, you're insane, bro. I'm not gonna lie. You are nutty. Yikes, bud. It's a psychopath. It's a psychopath. Oh my god, he actually died to it. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, yeah, that was actually a really hard game. I'm not gonna lie <laughs> Anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video got a little 18 bomb, you know, yeah, that's really it I hope you all enjoyed the video. I uh, hope it these tips were helpful Let me know in the comments down below any other videos you'd like to see and I'll see you in my next video guys and peace out